Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spagiver coming to you from the trail. Welcome to Spagiver Backpacking. Today I am on the Butterfield Hiking Trail at Devil's Den State Park in Arkansas. I drove about three and a half hours to get out here today. And I'll tell you, on the drive up as I started getting closer, the colors in the trees were changing and it was just gorgeous. So I think we're gonna get some really good spots out here. I think it's gonna be a great weekend. I've got uh, my Zeppelin 20 degree under quilt and a 50 degree top quilt because it's not supposed to get down all that cold. And I think with the combination of the two of those, I'll stay nice and warm. But as you can see, we've got some colors in the trees. A lot of yellows right here. But when we get up a little bit higher, I think you're gonna to get to see some really cool stuff. It's about a 15 mile loop that I'm doing. I'm a little over a mile into it. I decided to go ahead and get started, get about a mile into it and get away from the crowds before I went ahead and started this. So I'm gonna head off down the trail and uh, guys come along, we'll go do this. So I'm heading uphill and the colors are starting to pop up here. Really, really cool. The drive out here today, like I said, it was about three and a half hours and I'd say a good half of it I was spent in the fog. And when I came over the mountain coming down to the visitor center to get my hiking permit for this, I actually was, was in super, super thick fog. So I'm not sure as I climb up if I'm gonna go back up into the clouds, into that foggy area or not. But I've got stuff, so I'm ready for it if it, if it happens. And, uh, you know, it's a nice day. It's, it's a beautiful fall day. It's about 60 degrees, low 60s, and gentle breeze. Really nice for being out here hiking. You've got leaves falling off the trees. You've got some colors here. If I turn around, you can see up behind me, uh, the way that I'm headed, more nice colors. Over this way, you've got some oranges and reds, some reds right here. Uh, but it's just, man, it is the right weekend to be out here to be able to experience this, witness this. It isn't super cold, isn't going to be super cold, and we're not talking about any freezes. Um, you know, first weekend in November, and this is what we're dealing with. I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> So this is another solo trip. I haven't been out in a little while. I had to put off a few of them. Actually what happened, one of the things that happened that has caused me to slow down a little bit was the 1st of October, I was moving from one campground to another. As you guys know, I just moved from South Carolina not that long ago, about two months ago. And I uh, was staying at a campground that was just, it was too far away from where I was working. So. I went ahead and moved. And on that day, uh, I kicked something. I kicked something really hard. It was a hard piece of metal. And I am positive that I broke at least one bone in my foot. And so I've kind of been struggling with that. Haven't been able to do a whole lot of hiking because it, it does start to bother me. Actually, I'm only a little over two miles into this trail. And I've got a little bit of a little bit of nagging there in the outside of my foot. It's my right foot. But it's not enough that it's gonna slow me down or stop me, that's for sure. Especially with these views. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. The colors, the the weather, I mean it feels awesome. This is something I I needed. I needed to get out here this weekend and do this. So I'm glad you guys are coming along with me. So, do I have anything new on this trip? Hmm. Ah, actually I do. I have some of the giveaway gear. So, I'm doing both a giveaway and a raffle for the breast cancer awareness stuff. And so I have two pieces of pink gear that are in my bag that I'll be setting up this afternoon, this evening when I get to camp. Showing those off and showing you guys what I've got. 
pieces that I'm doing for the raffle, I've got one piece of it in, the other pieces I'm still waiting on. So as soon as they get in, I'll be doing that video. Well, I'm gonna keep going down the trail and uh, if I see something cool, I'll bring you guys back. So I finally, after a while of climbing, probably about a mile of on and off climbing, made it up to this ridge and it's flattened off right up here. And it's really cool. We've got a lot of these mossy green rocks all around here. Uh, and it's kind of opened up. And again, the colors are, are pretty cool, but it's just kind of, it's kind of neat being up here uh, with it wide open. Lots of spots to hang a hammock up here. I mean, if, if this was a campsite, or a camping area you can see all through here there's just nice spaced trees all around uh, the one thing you do have to make sure you're looking though is up in the trees check out for those those widow makers because you don't want to set up underneath one of those and have that be the last night you set up So this is really the first spot I've come to today that has any real sort of overlook. There's a nice little campsite right here uh, behind me. And then if we walk down here, there's a little bit of a cliff right here. And then if we look out, I'm not sure if you guys can pick up the, the colors in that. Still got a little bit of fog and mist out there. But yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome pretty good view out there today and then if we look down here we've got uh, let's look whoa nice cliff there so I came here kind of along these cliffs and I found this overlook and I'm, I walked right up here and I was really happy that I did because when you come up here and you get right out to the edge, you look down. So you've got that down there and you've also got all of this over here with the overhangs, cliffs there, which is pretty cool. So right up there is actually the spot that I went to that had the little overlook right up there. And just what you see from down here is amazing. I went down there, down to that area, but then you've got all these cutouts of the sandstone here. Very, very cool, that whole area. So I've been walking along the base of this, this cliff system here for, I don't know, just a little while five minutes or so and I just came to this spot so this would be an awesome awesome spot to set up camp if it was more than five miles into the trail which is what it is so we've got somebody's made a little little table right here uh, with picnic benches around it you've got little stools all around here then check this out you have a killer fire pit with rock seating with backs on the chairs all the way around it i mean how cool is that tell me this wouldn't be a killer spot to set up camp right here along all these rocks and cliffs man if this was only you know four miles further into the trail i would totally be chilling right here probably between two of these trees somewhere right in through here awesome Thank <laughs> you. 
it's not camp, so time to keep going. Nice start to a little primitive shelter over here. It looks like behind it would be the river down there. So I'm just a little bit before mile seven of the trail and I'm walking along this river right here and it's kind of dried up. Uh, I mean, there's water in it, but it's not flowing really strong. But I've been passing these campsites all along this river. I think about three tenths of a mile to a quarter of a mile up this trail is where the, uh, the next campground is at the next you know established campsite area it was listed at seven miles and i hear people up that way so that's probably where it's at but all along through here there's been great campsites so if you're out here and you find yourself at mile five you've got that great one by the cliff and then mile six through seven uh you've got you're kind of walking along this little creek this little river here let's go see it so here's the here's the river not a great view of it, but there you go. And all down through here, there are, there are campsites and obviously people in that direction. So I made it to camp. It was about 10 miles, a uh, little over, I'm like 6.7, but I also, almost the first mile, didn't register this morning because the GPS hadn't picked up yet. But anyway, I am here at camp and there's some people over here, another one over there. And then uh, two more couples, well, a couple down there, and then a guy down there. And I walk down and around the corner, because this is right here, this is Junction Camp. And right here, there's a junction of two rivers or creeks, and that's where they come together. So I wanted to kind of scout out and make sure I was finding a, a decent place to set up and kind of away from people a little bit so that I could do the, the videos without interrupting people. <laughs> so as I walked down through there, guy came up to me and started asking me questions about my ULA pack because this this trip I'm not using my Appalachian ultralight I sold that shipped it over to the UK and I've got a new one being built I didn't I didn't want to bring my my quick step on this one so I brought the ULA CDT love it I forgot just how comfortable that thing is uh, you know that padded hip belt the padded padded shoulder straps it just is uh, it's pretty luxurious compared to those real bare bones carbon or Cuban fiber ones that I've been using but anyway guy stopped me started asking me questions about it and then he kind of squinted a little bit and was like hey you do YouTube videos don't you I said yeah <laughs> he said yeah you were out on the Greenleaf Trail the same time I was or same weekend or day before or day after something like that uh, he was talking about yeah you got eaten up by ticks and chiggers and stuff I said yeah that's that's right he's like yeah me too took my daughter out with me she'll probably never go out backpacking again uh, but pretty cool. This was the, the first time since uh, Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail that someone has recognized me out on the trail. So that's always kind of kind of a cool thing when you're out here and somebody somebody knows who you are. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get set up back here, uh, take a look at what I've got to work with and figure out which trees are the best ones and go for it. So guys, here's camp. Let me show you camp. So I've got my fire pit here, which I probably won't use because you guys know me. Don't do that too much. Got the river right down here. I went down, got some water. You can see I've got my Sawyer right there. And if I turn around, I've got the Dream Hammock Darien underground quilts, 11 foot hanger tarp up there. And then I've got my Spagiver flag. And then what's this over here? <laughs> that is bright. Let me tell you, I can see the reflection off of this thing. Uh, that, that is some bright stuff right there. So what do I have here? So I've got a hatchling from Terrapin Outfitters along with the cinch buckle system and tree straps. I mean, look at this, look at this detail here. That is a T-O sewn in. Let's get a close up of that thing. There you go, a T-O sewn in to those tree straps. So you've got the hatchling there. I believe that's an XL hatchling. And then to go with it, so the hatchling tree straps cinch buckle system is from Terrapin Outfitters. And then up here we have an eight foot tarp to go along with it from Walhalla Hammock and Outdoors. Jason Flowers did that one and Scott Buff did this one. And uh, you guys know I, 
I like the hatchling. Hatchling is a great, great camp chair. You get cozy in this thing. Kind of lounge, lounge back in here. This is a great, great camp chair. Lighter than any of the camp chairs that you can take with you. And the best part is this is part of my giveaway. So these two items here will be given away. Uh, let's see, we'll probably do it sometime mid-October, or mid-November, sorry. Mid-November, probably just prior to uh, Thanksgiving. We'll probably send them out the week of Thanksgiving. Now I know, you guys are going to say this is no longer Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Who cares? Breast cancer doesn't give a crap what month it is. It happens all year long. So I'm still doing this. So it's only just after 5 o'clock. And the sun has already gone over the hill over there. Um, so, no more sunlight. Probably only have a little over an hour of light left before the sun completely goes down. So, I thought I would start doing some dinner. So, I'm back to some packet gourmet. I've got the Tuscan beef stew with Parmesan polenta. I remember Mike had this one when we went and did the... Um, the Adirondacks trip, the High Peaks trip, and I tried it, it tasted pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this thing up tonight. It's been a good day, about 10 miles, good terrain, I felt pretty good. You know, I had a nice, nice light pack. I mean, not, not super light, but I'm only carrying one night's worth of food. Uh, actually, I, I'm lying, I've got an extra, a whole extra day's worth of food in there just in case I always do for some reason um, but you know I wasn't carrying a super heavy amount of anything I had the Zeppelin 20 degree under quilt and my local Libre ghost pepper 50 degree operator series top quilt so those are what I was carrying uh, those are what I've got I've also got my my big puffy jacket just in case got to the the trailhead and because of all the the mist that I'd seen all day long I just wasn't sure whether or not it was going to get super cold or whether it was going to warm up or you know what might happen so I I had it in the truck I threw it into the pack rather have it and not use it than need it and not have it well I'm going to get this stuff going and uh, I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like <laughs> I went ahead and I mixed it all up. So it says to do them separately and then put the dollop of the Parmesan polenta on top of the stew. I figured it was all going in the same place anyway. I'm just gonna mix it all up. So let's take a look at what it would look like on a spoon here. Oh man, it smells good. So here's what we got. We've got Lots of good stuff there. Big chunk of meat there. Um, yeah, you can see the chunk of meat. Peppers, corn, beans, maybe some squash or zucchini. Um, and then the polenta in there. Some potatoes. I think it's probably rehydrated, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Very tasty. It's not my favorite pack of gourmet meal. You know, there's a few that I really, really love. This one would make it into the rotation. Um, it's pretty good. I'll let you know what I think after I eat a little more of it. So I've taken this 
pot, mug, whatever you want to call it, out on several trips with me now. It's the Tokes Titanium Light 550 milliliter pot. Now the difference between this one and their normal 550 is it's made of a little bit lighter gauge titanium and it does not have graduated markings inside to show you how much water is in there. So I've had people ask on this or on my batch stoves ones or on any other pot that's out there, you know, a hillbilly pot, a little imusa, how do you determine how much water you have in there? And so what I've done is for this specific pot, I've got my bamboo spoon and I've made little marks, as you can see right there, on the side of it and one correlates to one cup and the other correlates to two cups. And so what I'll do is I will set it in my pot like this, straight up and down, and then pour the water in until it hits the mark. And I know I've got either one or two cups in there based on what I need. Hey guys, what's going on? So it's a good night tonight. It's uh, probably in the in the low 60s right now. Really nice. Went and hung out with Chris, the guy that kind of recognized me and had been out at the Greenleaf State Park uh, a little bit after me. Had the same same type of experiences there that I had. So I went, hung out with him. He had a little campfire going, so we went and just chatted. Uh, he was asking some questions. We were we were talking have some pretty similar experiences with hiking and backpacking and mountain biking and stuff so pretty cool it was nice to be able to sit and chat with somebody and uh, you know it was just kind of a like we like we were old friends type deal it's kind of what what being out here does for you I mean it's it's super relaxing great trail it's been it's been awesome so far the colors from the the changing of the leaves has has been awesome you know had the sun been out a little bit more today it probably would have been even more spectacular but it was it was pretty nice nonetheless and then i got here to camp found a nice spot i've got the uh the hammock and the tarp set up i've got the hatchling and the tarp with that one set up had a a decent dinner uh so i had said when i first first took the first bite that i wasn't sure that the Tuscan beef stew with Parmesan polenta was my favorite, but that it would probably stay on the, the rotation. Um, on second thought, I don't think it will stay on the rotation. I actually didn't even finish the whole thing. I just, uh, I don't know, there was something about it I just didn't really care that much for. The more I ate it, the less I liked it. Unlike the first time I had the margarita pizza, the pizza wrap, I was in, uh, I was down in Texas at Lost Maples and the first bite was pretty overpowering but by the time I got done with it I loved it and wished there was more this was exactly the opposite the first bite was like okay yeah I can do this but by the end eh, it just wasn't wasn't happening you know somebody had said I've been having some some pretty bad luck with trips and then I was due for a good one and I I would I would say this has been a good one this has been a really good one Anyway, guys, I'm going to read for a little while and then hit the hay, probably listen to a, a podcast or two, uh, but then it's it's time for some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Oh, good morning. Well, last night was an interesting night, to say the least. The weather was, was fine. Uh, it was a little humid, a little bit sticky in here, actually, but several times last night just across the river there happens to be some some ATV trails and several times people on ATVs not only were over there and loud but came across the river and up into camp and drove through camp on their ATVs yeah the last one I think was a little after midnight so to sleep when there's an ATV being driven right right next to your camp. Um, then at 
4 a.m. this morning. So that was midnight, 4 a.m. One of the groups of campers is up laughing, chopping up firewood, and starting a fire, and uh, just being super freaking loud. This is why I hate like established camping areas. And had I known, last night I was reading on um, the map and permit stuff. It says that in Devil's Den, you have to stay in established campgrounds. But once you hit the Ozark National Forest, which I'm in right now, you can camp anywhere as long as you're 100 feet from any trail or water source. So it would have been nice to have gathered as much water as I needed and then headed down the trail and found a nice secluded spot away from everybody. Uh, makes making the videos easier, a little bit nicer, and you don't have to deal with that. The, uh, the whole ATV thing was just crazy. I mean, there was one, one ATV that came in here that had neon lights flashing all over it, which was really weird, really odd. Almost looked like a uh, a spaceship coming through the woods or something. Um, but yeah, interesting, interesting night. So after a, after a night like that, a nice cup of coffee sure does help to to get you moving, relaxing, enjoying life. I'm hoping that these clouds are going to go away today, and that it will. Uh, bring out the sun and really show off the colors that are out here I've heard I was just talking with Chris and he said that at about mile 12 there is an overlook that is a good spot that uh, you can check out a good view it's a little bit off the trail but hey I've only got uh, about five five and a half miles today maybe up to six so heading off trail to do that no big deal Okay, so here's here's one of the things I just figured out about this this pot mug. So I use this Snow Peaks Hot Lips, and I put them on the side here. Uh, but with this being the smaller thickness, the the smaller thickness of the um, of the titanium, the rolled lip up here at the at the top is not as wide, and so when this is on there. It actually isn't tight. It's it's pretty loose. I don't know if you can see, but I can push on it, and it moves around a lot. And so when you sip, what actually ends up happening is some coffee or whatever you're drinking gets down below it, and then drips down here and drips out and gets on you. So while this is really good for my batch stoves, uh, pots, not so good on this one. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. Thinking about getting away. I'm thinking about hitting the trail. I'm thinking about which one to slay. Let's go. Heading to the woods to escape the daily grind. The peace and solitude help to clear my mind. Scrolling down the trail, taking in the views. Scenic overlooks filled with many different hues. Crossing over rivers, jumping over rocks. I love trail runners, but I never hike in crocs. I come to a spot, a perfect place to hang. I look up in the trees, and then I say, dang. Widowmakers looming high up in the sky. If I hang here, there's a chance that I will die. Down the trail I go, to the next site. Hopefully I find it before day turns to night. This is what it's like when trudging down the trail. When to your back, it's like you have a sail. Finally at camp, drop your pack and rest your feet. Only thought on your mind is when I'm gonna eat. But Gava stuff is rolling, spitting out them flames. As you wait for dinner, you're discussing trail names. Someone named Shepa, hanging in the trees. Sharing dinner time with the keeper of the bees.
Dinner time is over, it's time to hit the hay. Into the hammock to find the perfect lay. Quilts topping under to keep me warm all night. Cold butt syndrome if it's not adjusted right. Sleep comes quick, reward for the trek. Never slept as good while lying on the deck. Wake to the dawn, a chill in the air. Pack up my camp, a question what I wear. Damp clothes again, a shock spurs a wail. Another day begun, I'll see you down the trail. So I'm walking down the trail and I come to this. Look at this tree. Look at these holes in this tree. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. I'm not sure what actually makes holes like that in a tree. It was pretty cool. Just heading down the trail. So it is a sticky, muggy morning. So all the times that I told you earlier, so those guys getting up at four o'clock and all this stuff, because of the time change, it was actually three. I hit the trail by seven, would have been eight, but you know, <laughs> kind of crazy. What I was thinking about that was also kind of crazy is last weekend, I actually got better sleep at a park just outside of a major, major city, just outside of Oklahoma City, than I did here. I had nine, over nine miles to get into the place I was yesterday, last night, and it was less peaceful, less solitude than driving five miles outside of Oklahoma City and setting up at a, at a park. Pretty crazy how that, <laughs> that works out. The trail so far has been really nice. It's been lots of, uh, lots of rocks, lots of climbing. Right now I'm kind of on a Bridge, but it looks like I'll probably start going up again. Some more rocks up here. But it's been it's been good so far. I'm looking forward to to more of it. I'm only a little over a mile into the day, so still got four or five to go. I come to a spot like this on the trail with a couple little fire pits. Nice, kind of open. Not really a view, but still just beautiful. And I start thinking, you know, oh, it'd be awesome to have the kids out here. They'd love to see this. And I start missing, missing my family, missing my wife, missing my boys. You know, it's been, it's been two months since I've seen the, the boys, actually a little over two months now. I saw Stacy for a few days while she came out to do a little bit of house hunting. But it's been tough. It's been tough being away. You know, I've done, I've done plenty of deployments where I've been away for three, four months at a time, and they never get easier. I mean, if you, if you actually love the people that you're away from, it's, it's always tough. Uh, so anyway, I saw this spot and I was just kind of thinking of my boys, so. All right guys, I just scrambled down uh, this, this, <laughs> this little cliffy area back here to get down here. I saw it from the trail. And I just had to come down here and check it out. What an amazing place this would be during the summer when it's warmer out. This would be such a welcome spot. So let me spin around and show you guys what I've got here. So check that out. Isn't that awesome? You've got the cliffs there. You've got some pretty deep water. I mean, it's, I'd say at least five, six feet deep. Over here, it may actually be a little bit deeper. And you can just kind of see down the down the river down there. But yeah, you come into this area here and it's just so cool. You see like a little cave area where it's been carved out by the water over time. And then just the, uh, the water here looks pretty awesome. Check this out, we've got a nice campsite here. And then if you walk over here, this is even cooler than the last one. Oh my God awesome i mean look at these this rock face and then this water all down around the corner the sun was just out and it had just this sparkle to it 
and you can kind of see the blues in it. I mean, back over that way, around the corner and down is where the last spot was, but this one, oh, this one's incredible. It's even got a little sandy beach right here. Swim out to the other side, you've got a nice little amphitheater over there, oh, and it just continues down along that way, and that's the way the trail goes, so that's the way I'm headed. But this wouldn't be a bad place to, to set up camp for the night, now would it? So guys, this pretty much wraps up my hike along the Butterfield Hiking Trail. It's been a beautiful weekend, beautiful hike, great trail. Anybody who's in the Arkansas or Oklahoma area looking for a good trail to get out on, don't pass this one up. Get out there and do it. The Butterfield Hiking Trail is complete. Back at the uh, parking spot where I parked yesterday, it's been an awesome time. It's been an awesome trip. Really, really needed this. Needed a, a trip to go well, and this one did. So uh, I'll see you guys down the trail.